Okay, so here is the explanation for the quiz number 12 of my data structure course on Udemy. The title of the course, as you can see here, is Fundamental Data Structures and Algorithms Using C Language. This is a popular course on Udemy. You can find the link of this course in the description. Someone has asked me in the course to explain this quiz, um, how to obtain the answer for this quiz. And, I'm, and for that, I'm creating this uh, particular video tutorial. Okay, so we have a circular queue with size 5 and uh, array is used for implementation of the circular queue and then we need to perform all these NQ and DQ operations one after another as given and after that we need to answer these questions given at the bottom. So initially we have the rear placed at index 4, that's the last index of this array and front is also placed here at index 4 according to the lecture that I have given there in the tutorials uh, in this course. So we placed rear and front at the last index. Actually in practice you can place them anywhere but as per my lectures we placed them at the end of the array. Okay now the array is empty and we are going to perform this NQ operation NQ1. Now the NQ operation is going to increase the rear circularly. So the rear is going to go there at index 0, that's here, and we are going to place that 1 here at index 0. Then again, NQ2, rear will be placed here at index 1, and there we are going to place 2. After that, NQ3, that's going to increment rear to index 2, and there we are going to assign 3. So after all these three NQ operations, this is the scenario that we have there. Now we are going to perform this DQ operation. Now when we call the DQ, it's going to increment the front marker circularly over the array. So the front is going to go there at index 0 of the array. So front is going to come here and there it's going to delete this one at index 0. So one is going to be returned by that DQ operation. Then again DQ is called. So the front is going to be incremented again here at index 1 then this 2 is going to be deleted. Now again uh, NQ is performed so NQ 100 is there so it's going to increment that rear by 1 and 100 is going to be placed here at index 3. Now this is the scenario. Now after that NQ 75 is there so rear is going to be incremented once again to index 4 and 75 is going to be placed here. So after performing all these NQ and DQ operations, these, this is the scenario of the array that we have there, right? Now the bottom two elements are vacant, the 0 and 1 they are vacant because we have performed that DQ operation and the front is here at index 1 after performing uh, those two DQ operations. Now uh, we have these questions, the question, the first question is this one. How many more successful NQ operations are possible just after the above operations? We can increment the rear by 1 and rear can come here and we can push here. And after that it's not possible anymore because if we go on and insert one more element then the rear and front marker are going to be at the same place. That's going to invoke the underflow situation. I have explained that in the tutorial, isn't it? So we can uh, NQ only one more element in this array now in this situation. So the answer to this question A is 1. Now if DQ is performed, what is the value that will be deleted next? Obviously that's going to be 3. If DQ is performed, front is going to be incremented here at index 2 and then this 3 is going to be deleted. So the answer to this question is 3. Now we perform 3 more DQ operations after the given series of operations. What will be the value of the rear and front then? Now let's go ahead and perform three more DQ operations. So this is the first one. We increase front here and we delete this 3. Then we increase front here. We delete this 100. Then we increase front at 4 and we delete this 75. So after three operations, after three DQ operations, uh, both the rear and front marker are are there at index 4, isn't it? So the answer is rear will be at 4 and front will be at 4. So now let's go through the options given there in the
quiz and there you can find that this option particular option uh, b i mean this one is correct and uh, the answer to the question a is one and b is three and uh, c is rear is at four and front is at, at four so this is the answer to this particular quiz i hope you have understood this clearly now thank you for watching this